think it's February 4th. The weatherman called for flurries. There's like 40, 50% chance for three hours. Next thing you know, we have five inches. Came to the land, getting everything hooked up here. It's, um, I think it's about 5.30 in the morning. Um, it's still coming down good. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It looks like I'll finally be able to get some good day footage of us running through some of our commercials during the day. So that'll be good. You guys getting everything warmed up. The guys are starting to trickle in here. Five inches of somewhat fluffy, somewhat heavy stuff. Some of our accounts 20 minutes away have a dusting. So it's gonna be really spotty, but I'll get as much footage as I can for you guys today. Now somebody tell me that's not efficiency. That is efficiency. That would have taken three hours with the front plow. Not quite three hours, but a long time. Look at that, it's crazy. You really don't know what these pull plows can do until you've used one. Whole loading dock, reached in here, wrapped right around this pole. Come in one more time, get a little closer in front of these steps. Articulate in and out around these cans. That's efficiency right there, folks. Get yourself a pole plow, you need one, if you plow snow. Or keep doing it the same old traditional boring way. Whatever, I don't care, I'm gonna keep doing it this way. So I'm sure all you guys are wondering what happened to the back of my truck. Well, the first time it was sitting in a wide open lot, a guy backed into me, had his insurance fix it, got it all fixed up, had it about a week, I was all plowing, pulled up to a pile, and then a guy slid into me on ice. I was in the truck that time, and I was in reverse going a couple miles an hour. But the guy just came cruising along way too fast and couldn't, it was, it was solid ice, couldn't stop and slid into me. So now I'm bringing it back in, hopefully this week. So you see that kind of dirtier stuff right there? Yep, that's all solid ice. This thing peels it up pretty good. You see just right before this too, how when I was pulling it out, that's all been driven on, on and over by semi, so it's packed down pretty good. So the pull pile scrapes as good as a skid in a bucket does on one pass. 
If I want to get down a little bit lower, I could go over it again, but we salt it and it's pretty good. Retail store here. Uh, we found that what works best is for the plow guys and the shovelers to work together because that way, if a plow guy puts a little back on a sidewalk, then the shovel guys can push it right back off. So it works best if we all just stick together and work as a team. Um, that way, you just get everything 100%. You don't got to go back and touch anything up or anything like that. So here's a little little walk around here. There's no little, no little spots here or there. We got her perfect. All that matters is quality, not quantity. Quality always first. If we don't have room to take you in and give you the best job possible, we're not gonna take you on. It is blowing a little bit, so we'll probably end up salting or coming back later tonight to scrape it up. Overall, it's looking crispy. This is a big one that we do first, and then now we go pop around to a whole bunch of other little ones. This one's kind of our priority, this one's our bread and butter. So, we get this one first, get it done on time, and knock out the other ones. <laughs> Blocking the haters. You, you know it. So we ordered snow tracks for this 450 over two weeks ago. Still haven't got them. These seat pattern tracks are absolutely terrible on ice. It was solid ice underneath. It was really frustrating. I could barely move. It was sliding all over the place. But yeah, waiting for snow tracks still to actually get better traction but we're able to get her done. It's just extremely annoying. Now, if you're gonna shovel snow, you might as well shovel it like you mean it. So we've been using this new T450 and Vernig 60 inch snowblower for um, a few events now. So far we love it. it, has lots of power. This machine doesn't have high flow, but it still rips right through it. You can't hardly bog out the auger. If, yeah, if you slam into a chunk of ice, it'll bog it out. But even snow like this, that has been pushed up into a big pile and that's pretty compacted. It chews right through it and blows it like nothing. So far we love this thing.
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, feel free to give it a like. If you want to see more like this, feel free to subscribe. And remember, in order to get results no one else is getting, you must be doing things no one else is doing.